Hey, Rideshare Commando here, and if you haven't done it yet, go ahead and hit subscribe down below. I would love to have more people to share information with. Now, let's look at ways versus maps. Everybody has this debate, and every Rideshare person says, Well, I use this one. No, it's not like that. Okay, let me break it down to you with specifics. Waze is a better app. It's more versatile, it has more functions, more features, tells you where cops are, and it's a user-involved app, meaning somebody reports, boom, it goes up on the network. But it also drains power. Now, the difference between using those is all dependent on your phone. For example, I use the LG Stylo 2, which is the basic B of LGs, but it gets the job done, and I really like it. I really do. But I'm going to upgrade to the LG Stylo 3 because the LG Stylo 3 charges quicker and has better power management. So if you're using an average phone and you're running an app like Maestro, which I do, it manages um, Uber, Lyft, it turns off one, accepts a ride from another, blah, blah, blah. It's an amazing app. I love it. And I use YouTube Red in the background. I use Google Maps. Um, between those five apps running, Maestro, Uber, Lyft, Maps, YouTube Red. Um, that does a decent amount of power drain. And where I can't use Waze is it drains it quicker than it will charge on the charger running constant. But if I had the LG Stylo 3, I could do that any day of the week. So if you're running, say, Pandora instead of YouTube Red, and if you are running um, just Lyft and Uber, and then you have Waze on there and you manage it by hand, then you should be fine with the phone that I have. Or if you have a really, really nice phone that has great power management, which know your phone, then you should be good to go using Waze, which is just overall a better app. Gives you more information, doesn't take you down every alley it runs across, and it gives you better direction as far as which road or which turn to take when roads are running parallel. Now, when it comes to power management, um, your cell phone needs to be 100% every time you drive. And then just put it on a charger, keep it running. But the second it reaches 30% or lower, every phone exponentially decreases its charge rate. And that's just the nature of batteries. Okay, So if your phone has amazing power management and really great processor and so on and so forth, then you should be good with Waze, and I would recommend Waze any day of the week. But if your phone is like mine, it's mid-tier, and you just want to get more usage and you don't want to have lag, which happens at 40% to 30% and lower on your battery charge, then you need to stick with maps. So that's the basic breakdown. Um, I hope this gave you more information than anything else I've seen out there. So. Um, yeah, go ahead and subscribe. If you like this video, hit like, and I will send up one video per day.